Welcome back to more Lord of the Rings Online. In this episode, I'm going to continue doing the Wildermore's recovery chain, in which there are a lot of quests to do. And I, in the last episode, I finished up all of the bounty questings with Britrick. And now I'm going to do all the quests with this guy. So, there's five of them. So I have room to do two more, so let me do the two Shilfig ones. Do you bring provisions? The people of Wildermore have much to be thankful for, Kippen. Despite the destruction wrought by the giant Nurzum, the folk of Shilfig celebrate by holding a small festival outside their, their town. You should go there at once and join the festivities. I hear that they are holding an eating contest outside of the gates of their city. Their survivors are few, but their hearts are emboldened. A friend of mine, Wolf Her, is overseeing the festivities. He will be able to provide you with everything you need. Let me know when you are ready to go to Shilfig and I will arrange your travel. Hail, Traveler! Are you here to help us? The people of Wildermore have much to be thankful for, Kippen. Despite the destruction wrought by the giant Nurzum, the folk of Shulfig celebrate by holding a small festival outside their town. You should go there at once and join the festivities. I hear that they are holding a demonstration of mounted archery in the form of a race. Whether you are skilled or not, you should try your hand at it. A friend of mine, Wolfur, is overseeing the festivities. He will be able to provide you with everything you need. Let me know when you're ready to go to Shulfig and I will arrange your travel. So, I guess let me do this celebration first. You should speak with Wolfer when you arrive in Shilfig. wonder if I can do both of them together. The Rohirrim do not surrender. Kippen from faraway lands. We are pleased that you can join us in our celebration. Here you will find the sport that any and all may participate in regardless of age. While we are few, we have prepared a marvelous eating contest. The point is simply to consume as much food as you are able to in the time allotted. Be careful though, some of the foods slow you down. We shall begin soon. Speak with the events coordinator when you're ready to begin. So I bet this is like the hobbit pie eating thing. Do you bring provisions? Are you ready to begin? Good. There are four tables. You may eat or drink from any of them. You are in competition with these good folk, so be as quick as you can. Let me turn on my speed here. Don't I have some coffee too? I thought I had some coffee in my inventory. I think they turn those buffs off though for these types of quests. Um, there it is. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. And let's continue. Prepare yourselves. Set. Begin. Oh no, the blueberry's no good. I'm drinking all the wrong stuff. I can't use that right now? Why can't I use the water? Oh man, this is bad. Let me get the eggs. I think you have to, you can only do one at a time, one table at a time. You have to go between them. That must be what's going on here. Uh, no, I'm not eating the bread, I'm doing the wine. The bread takes too long. Oh no, they beat me to it. Oh, come on. I'm getting my butt kicked. Get the eggs, I guess. God, these take so long to eat.
I wonder if it's a race or if I just have to have to do it. That's eight. Douche. Okay, one more. One more. Good. Let me turn this in. We are a strong lot. We must have come hungry, a voracious eater, and our victor. Very good. Let me do the other one. Do not surrender. So, Garrick sent you. Indeed, we have much to be thankful for. While the giant wrought terrible damage upon our village, he is dead and we are alive. That is all the motivation we need for celebrating. We are hosting a demonstration of mounted archery in the form of a race. Take this bow and mount your war steed. Follow the targets around, up the mountain, and back down the road, shooting the targets as you go. I will score your performance. Green targets will yield one point, while blue will earn you five. Keep an eye out for rare red targets, often on high ledges. They will yield you ten points. If you reach 100 points, you will earn a reward. The race is time, so you must hurry. Let me get on my war steed. I'll probably have to figure out how this works. Use the shield fig bow. Uh, what am I doing? Where am I going? Where am I? Uh, where am I on the map? Okay. Wonder if it's like this way. Nope. So it has to be this way. Oh, I see, I see the... How do I shoot it? Oh my god, this is a disaster. Oh, I think I must be... I probably have to... Be going a certain speed. Uh, this is, uh, this is tricky. I didn't get the hang of it until just now. So, I'm probably not gonna do too well. Oh, uh, and I keep missing all the good ones. I think I can keep going around though. No. Ah. Terrible. Let me get that red one. Wonder if I can just kind of go back and forth between these? Surely I can. What's my time? 22 seconds. Not good. Eight seconds. I'm definitely going to miss it. Got 104 points right at the end of the timer. Nice. Very good. So do I have to ride back? To Forlaw? Well, I can probably take the pony, right? Yep. Good.
Very good. And then I have to pick up another one of the... One of these. So I'm just gonna use my mithril points so I can keep recording for you guys. Do you bring provisions? We have already read this. So we'll just pick it up and then let's get the next set of quests. It's gonna be these three, the witch shawls. Hail traveler. Are you here to help us? In the wake of Nurzum's rampage, my folk need aid of skilled defenders to prevent such a tragedy from occurring again. I have devised trials to prove the worthiness of those who would come to our aid. There are many Rohirrim jousters in the area. Challenge one of them to a duel, and if you are victorious, I will consider your worthiness. Speak with me again when you are ready to begin. We are a strong lot. We will survive. So this first paragraph's the same. As you have no doubt learned, my people pride themselves on the horsemanship and mounted combat skills. If you truly wish to aid us further, test your skills by netting fish in the ice near the lake. We must ensure that this trial is capable of challenging a variety of participants, and I will even see to rewarding if you succeed. Fish stranded on the ice may be captured in our nets by a person of suitable skill. We will provide you with a small, medium, and large nets to be used from horseback. Catch as many fish as you can. Success in this trial depends on the haul. Speak with me again when you're ready to begin, and may fortune betide you. Oh, did I... Never mind. Let me go back here. Hail, traveler! Are you here to help us? As you have no doubt learned, my people pride themselves in the horsemanship of mounted combat skills. If you truly wish to aid us further, prove your skills by racing your war steed through a course of storm plague pools in the witch halls. I call it the Yist Arning, the storm race. Your skills will be judged worthy or unworthy by the amount of time that it takes you to finish the course. Speak to me when you are ready to leave for the witch halls. I have a bad feeling about these quests. You should speak with Robert when you arrive in the witch halls. I have a feeling I'm going to fail a couple of these. You do jousting. I do not know if we will survive this onslaught. Have you skill on horseback? We will see. From here you can see the Rohirrim jousters who are waiting for to test the would-be heroes. If you can defeat three of them, I will count your skills worthy of Rohan. I suggest you mount up. Dispatching these foes will be no easy task afoot. Okay. It is time to begin our duel. Oh, come on. I destroyed him. I dismounted him. This should be game over. Poor guy's trying to chase me down. He can't do anything. Although he's making my life miserable by flying around the boulder. Why are you bothering me? Oh no. There we go. Well fought. Well fought indeed. Let me go defeat the third one. This is intolerable. Let the duel begin. There we go. Well fought, well fought indeed. So done with that one. That one was easy. I am afraid of what is happening to these lands. Well done, Kip, and you have proven your worth in your joust. Okay, let me face these flags because I think this is going to be the obstacle course next. Well, let me do the mounted fishing, I guess. I do not know if we will survive this onslaught. 
So gear extension to be tested. Very well. Take these nets. You will have five minutes to gather up fish which litter the shores of the lake amid the pools. You will find that you must employ careful navigation as well as choosing the best net for each situation to succeed. Larger nets take more time to recover and cannot be wielded as frequently, so aim them carefully. One final piece of advice, take heed from the Fosgrims hiding among the pools. They are known to respond with great force against the riders who approach them. Good luck to you, and we'll begin counting your time immediately. Okay, so I got the little nets here. I am confused. Oh, weird. Very weird. So I have to like aim this. Very weird indeed. Let's see how big the green one is. It's pretty large. Catch these fishies, man. Not too worried. Gives you plenty of time to actually do this. If anything, I'll probably hoard the green one too much, so I'm probably just gonna start using it. Instead of waiting for the perfect situation, you know? Grab those two. Really? Skill can't be used? Oh, uh, what happened? That was weird. I clicked myself. Let's see, fishies, fishies, where are they? Let me just throw... Uh, what's going on, general error? Oh, I missed that for sure. Oh, well, I still got two minutes. Should be plenty of time. Yeah. Only need six more. Really? I missed that fish? Yeah. Yeah. Haven't come across any of those frost grims. Really only caught one there. Really? I missed that? Come on. There we go. Got that last one. There's a quest ring here, which is kind of weird. Anyways, I'm going to ignore for now. Thanks for the duelers here. Okay. 
These are desperate times for the Rohirrim. Um, I think I completed it automatically, I guess. So gear extension to be tested very well. You will have one minute to reach each gate. Be wary of the storms, for they can blow you aside. The east arning will take you through several pairs of gates. The blue gates mark your way to the far side of the course, while the red ones indicate your path back. Do you do not miss any or you will risk failing your trial. Good luck. I will be counting your time immediately. Okay. So I have to go through the blue ones. And then I have to go through the red ones on the way back. Not so bad so far. Why is it telling me I'm going through blue gates even though I'm going through red ones? Oh, it's just catching up. The tech the text is just catching up is so. all. Uh which way am I going? Oh no. That way. Oh right there. Okay. Good. Oh, is that a... Yeah, the wind is blowing me off course. Yep, it's definitely wind blowing. Which is weird. Okay. There we go. I think the faster you're riding, the less likely you are to get blown by the wind. There's the last one. Okay. Very good. So that was that. I am afraid of what is happening to these lands. Well done, Kip, and I will speak with Garrick on your behalf. You should return to him now. Very good. Just want to confirm that I completed all of these. I did. Okay, very good. All right, so I think that's going to do it for this episode. In the next one, I will start doing the warband listings with this guy. Excuse me. I still think I have a couple of warbands to do, actually. Yeah, some of the raid ones that I couldn't do. But the thing with these is that I think that if I get the quest here from this guy... That I only need to do it once and get credit for both of them. So that'll be easy. Alright, anyways. Thanks for watching. See you next time.